In this tutorial, we will see how Pergeos handles large data for pre-processing, segmentation and post-processing. Let's have a look to the input data. This data is a 3 cm tall sandstone sample that has been acquired with a heliscan microcity. Thanks to Dr. Xiang Zhaokong from the Institute of Geophysics at ETH in Zurich for providing the rights to show the results. On the left, we have the raw data, and on the right, the filtered data. We've used, as usual, a non-local means to remove the noise. The whole data is 135 gigabytes. We are looking here at the denoised sandstone sample. In order to apply the non-local means filter on the whole data, we have used a slab processing module that is available in the Explore workspace. In order to run the module, we have extracted a subvolume and created a simple recipe containing the non-local means filter, as you can see in the history window of the subvolume. When it comes to segmentation, we have segmented the rock sample into four phases, including the grains, which are mostly quartz, the dense minerals, which are mostly dolomite, some rutile inclusions that form very bright spots, and the micropores phase. We have been defining the markers on the subvolume and then applied a classical watershed on the gradient image. The phase contrast was avoided by using the high gradients. Once the recipe is computed, in order to apply it on the whole volume, we again open the Explore workspace and apply the slab processing module. As this is here based on a watershed, an overlap is needed. 50 slices is a good value for this data. Now that the data has been segmented into multiple phases, we would like to separate the quartz grains into individuals for further analysis. Once extracted as a binary volume, the grains have been separated with the separate objects module and a recipe has been created in order to be applied by slabs. The Explore workspace will let us visualize the individual grains in 3D. We have here almost 300,000 individual grains. The data size is then impressive, it's about 270 gigabytes. To conclude, Note that we are handling 540 GB of data on a machine having only 32 GB of memory, which is quite impressive.